guys I'm in the kitchen as you can see and I'm going to be making some marshmallows from scratch so right now I have corn syrup sugar and water on medium high heat and it has to get to 240 degrees while we're waiting for that I have in my stand mixer with a whisk attachment this is three table uh, sorry three packets of this gelatin and a half a cup of cold water so that sits there until this sugar mixture has reached the proper temperature and I have I'm going to make um, I've never used this before I usually use like um, flavor oils and things like that and I saw this I don't know if you can see it it's Wilton's um, salted caramel flavored treatology salted caramel flavor so you can use it for frosting cake batter so I don't see why I can't put it in marshmallows so I have that and then I have I'm sorry this looks so bad because um, I spilled blue food coloring all over the place but either way this is a warm brown that I'm going to use to go with the salted caramel um, so yeah that's what I'm doing this is slowly doing what it has to do and um, I'll bring you back for the next part, okay? So here's what it looks like boiling. It's almost where I need it to be. And I forgot to show this. This is my prepared pan. This is a combination of cornstarch and powdered sugar. That That's what I'm going to pour the um, marshmallow in once it's ready to come out of the mixer. Let me just check that okay so that's that so again I'll be back okay so here I come with the mixture that's been boiling you have to be so careful because you do not want a sugar burn okay turn this on low oh my god it would help if I plug it in right hello Okay, now turn it on low and we slowly pour the sugar in. Yes, Bevan. Marshmallow. Yeah. Put sugar, corn syrup, and water. Go ahead. Now this is not a recipe that you can do with your kids. I mean, unless they're older. Because it is dangerous. So now, after we put that in on low, and we pour the sugar in, the mixture in, then we um, put it on high. Flash guard on. Well, that's not really high yet. Okay. See the consistency is starting to change and it's getting thicker. I'm gonna add a little bit of food coloring right now. I never use this brown. It's looking red to me. Let me get a Chuck is brown.
See how it's getting thick? It's looking red. Well, either way, it's not going to alter the taste. Let me hit it again. But either way, that's not the point. The point is, I'm making marshmallows. Okay, so now it's done. This is what it looks like. See that? Crazy. And um, now we have to transfer it into this pan, which that's really the most annoying part to me because it's so sticky. So my rubber spatula I'm going to scrape some of this down again I don't know why my brown decided to be like a mauve color I don't know either way like I said the main thing is that it tastes good All right, so now I'm gonna try and scrape it into the pan. It smells so good. I'm so excited about that flavor, y'all. And at the last minute, I decided to um, chop up some semi-sweet chocolate chips sprinkle some on top oh and this is a 13 by 9 pan and these things stay good in an airtight container for about three weeks and then we have to let this set for four hours y'all talk about torture all right I might sprinkle a little bit of chocolate on half just a little because caramel and chocolate why not and you know what I just might sprinkle it on the whole thing because I'm liking the way that looks and this was just semi sweet chocolate chips I had in the cabinet let me get a little bit more that I ground up. And then have to dust it with, um, have to dust it with some more brown, not brown sugar, some more, um, cornstarch and cornstarch and um, powdered sugar and 
and that's so you know stuff doesn't stick to it but once it's done setting we will um dust some of that off it's not going to stay like that I'm just spreading some of the um the powder out. Make sure I get all the areas. Yep. So that's that. It looks crazy right now, but when it's done and I shake some of this excess powder off and cut it, it's going to be good. So I will let you all see the finished product in about four hours. Devin and Danielle, yes. come here. I'm gonna let them um, lick the, uh, the beater. Yes, mama. Here. Yes, please, yes, please, yes. You gotta share. Is it a taste test? It's not a taste test. You can just taste it. You can't. You gotta kind of nibble it off because it's not gonna come right off. Let Devin get a bite. Wait, I only get that whole bite. Bite it off. You gotta Cut bite it. it off. How's it taste? Oh Devin. no! Can't lick it. You can blow it. No, because everything will stick to it. Devin. I'm sorry. It's okay, because I'm making marshmallows, so we'll have some, okay? <laughs> Don't touch. All right? Oh, girl, please. Put your arms down. Looking like Popeye the Sailor Man. Put your arms down. Hey, y'all. I'm back. I'm still waiting for the marshmallows to set, but while I'm doing that, i um, cooking dinner. Let's see. I'm making some chicken for some chicken nachos for dinner and I decided I will um, use the recipe that I like to make the play-doh really quick a couple of you guys um, talked about making it and so this is my favorite recipe and I'll share it with you guys and um, give you the website as well so here is what you need you need cream of tartar that's <laughs> tartar. We need salt. And this is optional. This is to make it a little shiny. We need some oil. Flour, of course. A half a cup of boiling water that you add um, the food coloring to. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to start mixing everything together. So. I need two cups of plain flour. You would think I have my measure. Oh, I was using my measuring cups earlier, you guys. Let's see. Okay, so we have the two um, tablespoons, I'm sorry, two cups of flour. And then we need two tablespoons of vegetable oil but all I have is canola. I worked the same way. Yeah. What's the difference? Hmm? Huh? What if you used olive oil? Would that make a difference? Hmm? Huh? What if you used olive oil? Uh I don't know if that would make it I don't think that would make a difference. I'm sorry, I told y'all wrong. Mm. Need to we need um, half a cup of salt. Next. That's a lot of salt. Mm hmm. But you should not eat it. I know. Half a cup? Oh, wait. What, where's that? It's a, a measuring line in there for half. Oh, yeah, that's right. You showed me that. Okay, half a cup of salt, 
two tablespoons of cream of tartare. Tartare. Are you want me to check the uh, other pieces? You can flip them, please. Thank flip you. Them. Just flip them back over. Mm hmm All right. This one too. Hmm. Mm hmm. One. What I drop? Nothing. Mm. That was me. Two. Taste it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to. Okay, then the next thing, it says mix the flour, the salt, cream of tartar, and the oil. I can taste like anything. Oh, wait. Mm, that's pretty bad. And we need two tablespoons of oil. I have no clue who does that. Just tries random seasoning there. That's bad. So bad. Oh wait, it looks, it looks a little bit raw. It's still cooking. It's fine. I'm bad. Well, don't do it again. And then you mix that together. I got DJ over here being my sous chef while I do this real quick. Then, after that, we add the food coloring in the water. Well, that taste is never going to come out of my mouth. So, I'm going to get the water. Boiling. Yeah, and then add a couple drops of blue. Oh, <laughs> calling me. One, two, three, four, five. Why not? Right? Why Ooh. not? More the merrier. Mm -hmm. I can't find any of my stuff, y'all, because I've been cooking and stuff. But anyway, that's what the water is looking like. Nice blue. Yep. Especially since you know blue is my favorite color. Yes. I'm going to put a couple more. Make it a little more rich. You know. Alright. I'm going to put this back down so y'all can see. Alright. Now. Pour and stir. And then it's done. Mm -hmm. Come on. Basically you just pour, stir, and then you're done. Mm -hmm. That's it. No yep. baking? Huh? No baking? No. And this is how people make make it like the Play-Doh company. Well, I don't know how the Play-Doh company makes it. Oh. It says add a little bit at a time and stir mm. to make sure, you know, you get it to the consistency that you want because you don't want it to be too watery. Can I stir? No, because it's hot. I don't want it to um. splash up on you. Oh, thank you. Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm gonna put a couple more drops of um food coming in. Mm -hmm. It really is tart. The cream of tartar? Yeah. It's horrible. Mm. I'm never doing that again. Oh y'all I'm getting blue water on the counter. Hot blue water again. Let me flip them over again. Um, yeah. Alright, so I had to move because cooking's going on over there. But this is what it's looking like. And you have to knead it to make sure everything is incorporated in it. See? 
And you know what else you can do? You can put um, extracts in it so that it has a smell. I do that. I made some orange colored dough and put um, orange, orange extract in it. And the recipe also says that you can add glycerin to help it, um, to make it a little shiny. I don't really see that much of a difference, but I'll do it, you know, right now. So y'all can see. See? And you just fold it in. I'm trying not to get it all over my hands. That's finger muscles. Ugh. Are you pulling out air pockets? Is that what that sound is? No, that's the, the um, corn syrup in my hands. Huh. Oh yeah, it does make it a little bit shinier. But y'all see? Play-Doh. And you don't need that recipe where they tell you to cook it on the stove and cook all of that up. nonsense. So yeah. That's it. It's still warm. I'm not going to let the kids play with it yet. But you just store this thing in a baggie and it is good for I don't know how many Play-Doh sessions. That's it. And um, I'll leave the link in the um, description box. But the um, website that I got it from is the Imagination Tree. And the only thing you got to do is boil water. That's it. Blue Play-Doh. Hope y'all enjoyed that. Now I'm going to go cook dinner and then I'll be back when it's time to um, cut the marshmallows. So, see y'all later. Alright, so the marshmallows are ready to cut and I'm going to take it out the pan. See how it just lifts right up? And I'm going to shake off the... Um, Oh shoot, that's tacky. Can you get that rubber band off my wrist? Thank you. My hands are clean though. Shake off the excess powdered sugar. And then you just take your pizza cutter and you cut. And then the inside is going to be sticky. So then that's when you um, you lay it in the um, extra powdered sugar and cornstarch mix that you have. And then you just cut it to the size that you want. like a marshmallow well because it is a marshmallow but it's squishy and soft and I'm gonna let Dwayne who's behind the camera taste the first one hold on hold on hold on doesn't it taste like a Starbucks drink yeah it does which one is supposed to be it's the salted caramel Good. Thank you. So basically, my mom loves it, Dwayne loves it, I love it. The kids, not so much. I think maybe because it tastes more like coffee than salted caramel. Because they, like the, they like the marshmallows I make, you know, like the fruity flavors and stuff. But either way, we like them, so we're eating them. And I'm going to keep cutting these things up. So I will see y'all later. Good night.